Mystical Jungles and a History of Defiance, let us journey through the history of Vietnam and discover its wonders. From its history to its culture, join us as we unlock what makes it a special place. One of the earliest recorded evidence of human agriculture can be found in Vietnam. The first Viet state would then be established in the 7th century BC. It would come to be called the Van Lang State. This civilization influenced mainland Southeast Asia for centuries to come. Due to the advancements in economy and agriculture, an advanced civilization would come to life, the Dong Sun Civilization. This coincided with the establishment of the first state in Vietnam. Starting from the second century BC, Vietnam was continually dominated by differing Chinese dynasties for thousands of years. This helped foster a spirit of unyieldingness in the Viet population, steadfast and defiant against foreign invaders. In 938, after the Bac Dang victory, Vietnam developed into an independent feudal state. Infrastructures were expanded, trade flourished, and a national identity began to be formed. The early government became centralized, and from 938 to 1527, Dai Viet, as it was known during that time, slowly but surely developed into a regional power. It became one of the most prosperous nations in the region. In all aspects, this was the golden age of Vietnam as a young nation. Agricultural marvels sprung up left and right. Irrigation was further developed particularly that of the Red River Dyke. Handicraft villages also came into prominence during this period. The influence of other nations and kingdoms were also felt in Vietnam, particularly that of religion. Traditional animism, Buddhism, and Confucianism were the most prominent religions in the area at the time. Feudalism declined in Vietnam from the 16th century onwards. Dai Viet was marred by civil wars. In 1620, the Nguyen family, who governed the southern province of Hue, rejected the suzerainty of Thang Long. The country was divided between the Nguyen and Trin families, who both urged for unification. Unification was only achieved after a civil war, which lasted between 1772 and 1802. In the early 19th century, French missionaries and traders made their way to Vietnam and found the area profitable. For the first time in its history, Vietnam was faced with a Western power. France invaded the country in 1857, and it took them 16 years to control the entirety of the nation. The French imposed a Western style of government to the newly conquered territory and named the colony Cochin China. The French exploited the vast resources of the country, and this consequently made the once great nation of Dai Viet a backwater of the French Empire. French rule would eventually end after a significant and deadly war for liberation in the First Indochina War. Communist revolutionaries fought against the French occupiers, and by 1954, the Geneva Accords were signed that sought to stop the war of resistance against the French. Vietnam was divided into two. North Vietnam, who were communists aligned, and South Vietnam, who were pro-French and pro-American. One of the great leaders of this time was a man named Ho Chi Minh, who helped rally communist support for the liberation of Vietnam from foreign powers. On December 20, 1964, the National Liberation Front for South Vietnam was formed and the Second Indochina War began. This period in time was also known as the Vietnam War, which saw a huge number of losses for both the Viet Cong and American forces. The war ended with a unified Vietnam, free from the grasps of internal foreign influence. According to the World Bank, the GDP of Vietnam is valued at around $408 billion. It is the sixth largest economy in the entirety of Southeast Asia. 
Vietnam's geography is its biggest advantage when it comes to materials, products, and goods. Due to its expansive coastline, fishing and other forms of aquaculture are prevalent. Agriculture, formerly the country's greatest asset, is currently losing its relevance in a highly manufacturing and service-oriented economy. Despite this, agriculture remains the main source of raw materials for other sectors in the economy. Rice remains to be the most important agricultural resource. Raw mineral deposits can be found in the highlands of Vietnam. These include, but are not limited to, anthracite coal, lime, phosphates, iron ore, barite, chromium ore, tin, zinc, lead, and gold, with coal being the most important part of the mining industry. The national flag of Vietnam is made up of a five-pointed golden star on a red background. The red background was adopted by the Communist Party of Vietnam, symbolizing the revolution. The five points of the star are said to stand for the five principal classes composing the political front, the proletariat, peasantry, military, intellectuals, and petty bourgeoisie. The capital of Vietnam is Hanoi, and it has a total land area of around 331,000 square kilometers, or 128,000 square miles. It is bordered by China, Laos, and Cambodia. The country has a long coastline where a few river systems flow into. The most prominent of these is the Red River Delta and the Mekong River Delta. The highest point in the country can be located in Fansipan, which stands at about 3,000 meters or 10,000 feet above sea level. The climate of Vietnam is varied. The northern part experiences four seasonal changes, whilst the south only experiences two seasons, wet and dry. The average daily temperature for the entirety of the country is around 24 degrees Celsius or 76 degrees Fahrenheit. Vietnam's biodiversity is very apparent in the number of wildlife species present in the area. There are approximately 310 species of mammals, 296 reptile species, 162 amphibian species, 700 freshwater species of fish, and 2,000 species of marine fish. For the flora, there are 1,400 species of vascular plants and 1,030 species of moss. Its geography lends to its diversity in flora and fauna, making it one of the most biodiverse locations in the entire world. Vietnam has a population of about 106 million people, 85% of whom identify as Kin or Viet. However, there are a large number of indigenous minority groups that live in and around the country. Around 54 ethnic groups are recognized by the government of Vietnam. Vietnamese is the primary language and demonym. Vietnamese culture is one of the oldest cultures in the world. It is a crisscross of different ancient cultures and traditions, including Chinese, Buddhist, Taoist, and even Western culture. One particular aspect that is significant in Vietnamese everyday life is the concept of family. Largely patriarchal, it affects the lives of every Vietnamese person. It is not surprising to find blood relatives living closely together. Now this video wouldn't be complete without talking about the cuisine of Vietnam. Here are a few dishes you can try out when you visit. They'll surely fill you up. Starting off with pho. This hearty noodle soup made up of fresh rice noodles, a chunk of chicken or beef, veggies, and swimming in a nice salty broth will reinvigorate you while walking around the tight streets of Vietnam. Why not try ban sio? a Vietnamese crepe made with pork, shrimp, and bean sprouts. Garnished with fresh herbs and spices, you'll surely enjoy this delectable dish. Lastly, have a bite of goi quon, a healthy alternative to oily spring rolls. Made with salad greens wrapped in the shape of a spring roll, it can also include some meat or fish. Which one of these dishes would you want to try out? 
Of course, as with many countries, Vietnam is also home to a lot of famous and infamous people. You might recognize some of them. Let us know if you do. First, and most important of all, we have Ho Chi Minh, who helped establish the Communist Party of Vietnam and rallied the Vietnamese people to fight against their occupiers. Renowned actor K. E. Hui Quan, famous for his appearance in Everything Everywhere All at Once and The Goonies, was born in Saigon. Lastly, Lana Condor, another beloved American actress, traces her roots to Vietnam. If you enjoyed this video on Vietnam, you'll love this next one.